brand new iPhone 8. Let's talk about Bitcoin for a second. Is it a bubble? It just passed a new high, 14,000. That's moving around a little bit. Did you miss out? Or if you're not really interested in the subject, are you right? Because some people think this thing's the biggest bubble in the world, and some people think it's just getting started. Who's right? I wanna share with you some of the stuff. I've launched a Bitcoin Crypto Academy. It's a Bitcoin Crypto Mentorship Mastermind. It's an online program that, uh, it's a paid program, but I wanna share with you guys stuff, stuff for free. So basically, and like I said, pay attention because one of the details, I'm gonna give out this brand new iPhone 8 Plus, and I'll probably give away 100 bucks to a few people. Okay, so I wanna talk about four things you need to know so you don't miss out. Either, you know, on the way down or on the way up. Someone said, Bitcoin will be zero soon. Somebody said, Ty, isn't Bitcoin a deep web form of money? Lots of people have opinions. I wanna clarify a lot of stuff, and here's the thing. First of all, let's be clear on one important thing. Some of the so-called experts have changed their mind. Some of the big people, Jamie Dimon, the big bankers, they've said this is a bubble. They said it was a bubble when it was at a couple hundred and they were like, it's a bubble, it's a bubble. Now some of them are coming back and going, wait a second, let's create trading desks. Let's start literally getting involved in this. This very people that said they shouldn't do it. So you gotta be careful who you're listening to. That was my best advice for you. Um, somebody said it's gonna go to 20,000. I wanna share with you a very important thing. This is, uh, this weekend, I spent time with maybe the most respected Bitcoin, crypto, blockchain expert in the world. His name is Brock Pierce, and he uh, is the head, he's the chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation. He's the co-founder of EOS, did the largest I, uh, uh, ICO, raised over $700 million. He's a crypto billionaire. So this dude knows. Now everybody thinks they're an expert on crypto. So what I'm doing is traveling the world, bringing in the world's best experts, interviewing them, then sharing it with you. And he's been involved in crypto and virtual currency since the 1990s. He created a platform in the late 1990s, early you know, 2000s where it was actually, um, and it, that was before cryptocurrency even existed. Okay, so somebody said hold until it hits 150,000. I'm gonna share with you what he said. And he's an actual expert um, on this subject. So let's ignore the so-called experts Bitcoin started at zero and it passed the new high, okay? This represents zero and then this was, you know, 14,000 or whatever, or sorry, zero, 14K, okay? Over time, these are the years that it's gone about a decade ago or so. It's, it's, it's a manufactured currency, meaning it's just it was created just kind of like the US dollar is. And the thing goes, dun, 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 dun. and of course, it's not a straight line, it's doing this, and, dun, 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 dun. and now it's at 14 grand. The question is, will the thing go? There's some people predicting it'll hit one million dollars per for one coin, right? And some people are predicting zero. This is a garbage pen. So, some people are predicting it goes to zero dollars hard to know right well i want to kind of shed some light based on by the way do you guys like this, this is my italian shirt here etro um you're gonna need probably two people here okay so here's what i suggest you do Listen, well, let's talk about what Brock told me. And by the way, this is, I'm launching a new um, crypto Bitcoin podcast. Today, I'm the number one business bi uh, podcast in the world. Okay. You guys may need to switch or something because this has got to be a full, this has to be an attention thing for Sam. Not, I don't know, 
Are you doing something else now? Yeah, I was sending him a URL for Facebook. Okay, but let's not do that and have someone else do that because it's a full-time thing. Okay, so here, here's what Brock Pierce told me. I said, is it too early for someone to get in? He said, no, but it might, I mean, is it uh, too late to get in? Sorry. Is it too late here at, four, at 14,000? He said, no, but it may be too early to get in. It may be too early, meaning the whole world, reporters, so-called experts probably have the thing upside down. They probably got it upside down. It might be too early to get in. What does that mean, too early? Well, you can catch trends too early. Let's talk about the internet. So number two, you have to understand what happened with the internet. Internet's basically 1994. The thing starts and then it goes up. You have around the year 2000, 2000, right? It starts to peak up here. Amazon is formed here by Jeff Bezos. The thing goes up, it's a trillion dollar asset class. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so then what happens? Boom, it drops. Then it begins to go again. And now in, the, in, in let's say 2017, 2018, this thing's higher than it's ever been. Uh, so you do YouTube. Okay, finish that for me. We got a big problem. What if we're right here? What if Bitcoin's in an early, an early stage issue, you know, uh, bubble? So there's multiple bubbles. Now, it's a very good possibility that it's too early. Does that mean you should or shouldn't buy? Here's what it means. Educate yourself. But Brock told me the most important thing, and it's the same thing Warren Buffett says, do not invest in what you don't understand. The whole point and the reason that I've created this Bitcoin crypto mentorship, this mastermind, it's a private mastermind online, is because these are for people who really wanna learn, um, learn this new world. And I will tell you my opinion, this new world's for real. And back here, people were laughing at Jeff Bezos. And they were laughing for probably until about 2004, 10 years, idiotic reporters, journalists, blah, blah, blah. People were laughing at him. Right here is where you had uh, Elon Musk, Tesla. He borrowed a couple billion dollar people, laughed at him, blah. Now he's a hero of the whole world, okay? Be careful who you listen to. If you're not listening to the best, you're gonna make a big mistake. Because there's big opportunities whenever there's this early trend or even this trend. But most people miss it. And most people buy here and sell here. By the way, number three thing. If Bitcoin crashes, I'm just going to tell you this. If any of you currently hold Bitcoin, and remember, there are such things as bubbles. That doesn't mean the whole thing is there's a difference between a bubble and a crash, guys. Some people don't know that. A bubble was the internet. It, was, it didn't crash permanently. Did it crash permanently? Did we not like use the internet? Is Amazon no longer an important company? No, hell no. And if you were smart, what you would have done in Amazon is when the damn thing crashed, you would have bought it up. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let's look at a chart of Amazon Amazon uh, valuation since 1994. Actually, it wasn't public. It didn't have a 1994. Here we go. Amazon versus Walmart revenues and profits. Let's just look at revenue. Oh, here we go. If you had invested in Amazon at the IPO, $1,000 would now be 239 grand. So when you initially could buy Apple stock, I'm sorry, Amazon stock, now it'd be worth 2,000, uh, 200,000, 239,000, sorry. So it went up 239 times, 239 times. So if Bitcoin is in a bubble and it goes down, try to buy it when it's low. People are, this school system has made people fools. 
They don't get the game. That's not how the game works. You hope to God that your the real estate goes down. Then you could buy your neighbor's house for a hundred grand. You think the house is gonna disappear and not be valuable? Now, some people say, but Ty, that's not a fair analogy. Bitcoin is a manufactured currency. It's not like a home that you can live in. Homes have a floor because homes, no matter what, somebody will pay a dollar for a house they can live in. No matter what, they'll pay 10,000, right? Even when Vegas dropped to nothing, people still buy houses for 10 grand. It didn't drop down to $3. But you're right, there is a difference with currencies. But mark my words, if Bitcoin goes down to $1, I will buy it all. So I'm kind of excited if it's a bubble because the fact that it ever went to 14,000 probably means it'll eventually go back. So if I buy for $1 because it's a bubble, like Jamie Dimon says, um, I'd love to buy it for one and it go back to 14,000. So now this is an important thing for you to understand here. There is a possibility and a guarantee there's a guarantee that some of the cryptocurrency coins will go to zero. I guarantee you some of the cryptocurrency that are now in existence, there's thousands of them. Okay, there's thousands of them. I guarantee you that some of them are going to go to zero. Okay? So right now, if you look at the top market cap, you've got Bitcoin, but you also have Bitcoin Cash. You've got Ethereum. One of the co-founders of Ethereum was at my house the other day. So that's the second largest. And then you have Bitcoin Cash and you have all kinds of stuff. You got Litecoin and there's, there's literally more than almost any person can remember because there's new ICOs being done all the time. Uh, Brock's wife just, Crystal just did a, a coin, new coin called Sense. It's so small that it doesn't really trade yet. I mean, it's just launched. So it's very important that each of you understand this concept. In, in order for there to be long-term value, there has to be utility. <clears throat> so utility is the reason that your next door neighbor's house will never only be worth $1, okay? It will never only be one, worth $1 because it's useful. So the question is, is there any utility in these electronic virtual currencies known as cryptocurrencies? Because for some, for Bitcoin or one of the forks, because there's such a thing where these currencies fork out, right? So you can have classic version of Ethereum. There's different, there's different forks, okay? That's a little more advanced conversation. But forks are okay, they're gonna happen. It's open source code that's building these um, cryptos. So what that means is people are gonna disagree and they're gonna fork off. It's gonna be like churches, denominations. Um, so Bitcoin, let's just take the largest traded coin right now, which is Bitcoin, doesn't have utility. Well, it's being used in Africa because there's countries with massive inflation. So people buying food with it, they're using it. Is there a utility to the fact that, let's say Western Union charges you huge fees? Let's say up to five, 10%. So if you have family back at home and you live in a country and you wanna repatriate currency money back, Western Union, even PayPal, which charges fees, depending on how you do it, theoretically, peer to peer, Cryptos can have basically no fees. Is that a utility? Is it valuable? Is there a value? Does anybody in the world find value in that? It's somewhat anonymous, which could be, it's not fully anonymous depending on how you do it. Is that utility for anybody? Yeah. Is there any utility for it to be not tied to the US debt? Somebody said, Ty, is that a Hawaiian shirt? It's definitely not a Hawaiian shirt. So my question to you, what other, you see Venezuela, which has had crippling inflation, is trying to launch their own cryptocurrency. 
The Philippines now accepts it. You could buy a Tesla with crypto. You can buy a Lamborghini here in Los Angeles in Orange County with it. So does it have utility? I'd say it does. So that means it probably not gonna, all the coins are not gonna disappear. So you need to know which ones to buy, how to invest the money, where to store it so it doesn't get stolen. One of the things that Brock told me, well, he shared with all of you. By the way, leave a comment if you're in the private Bitcoin crypto mastermind that I launched. That I, oh, you're not doing, is he doing that? Yeah, yeah he's um, on YouTube down there. So if you're in that, just say me, if that's you. Somebody said they wish. Somebody said I am. Somebody said me. So here's one thing that's interesting. Um, think about gold. I think the total market cap of gold is seven trillion dollars right now. Okay? So cryptocurrency right now is let's say, let's just say 400 billion, depending on when you look at it. And that's not just Bitcoin. Yeah. But make sure, I don't know if you should have all the captions and stuff on. I mean, the, uh, should you have the top? Ask Paul and Alan on Facebook. Okay. On YouTube, you don't want to put the top. You want to just post the video part. Okay. You can use that thumbnail, but I wouldn't do the thumbnail with the words on the top. Gotcha. I... Just the thumb, you know. Okay. So, 400 billion. So, basically, roughly, you know, around 15 times more valuation in gold. Yes, somebody brought up a good point. Uh, Bitcoin is highly divisible to multiple decimal points, okay? Which is a utility, especially as it goes up in value. So, 400 billion, so gold. Do you find any utility here in gold? Who here goes, you know what makes my life great? Gold. <coughs> or if I just had more gold. The only utility in gold is in the demand utility. And never underestimate that. And guess what? This one has demand utility too. Meaning supply and demand supply is limited. Gold is limited. Crypto, especially like things like Bitcoin, is, is kind of an algorithm based on mining. But by 2040, you know, there'll be no more and blah 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 blah. It's a mathematical computation created by nobody knows the exact person. I've heard recently a theory, Elon Musk is the man you know who came up with bitcoin but nobody really knows people just ascribe it to this mythical person some people think it's the illuminati it's the government blah 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 some people think it's a group of libertarian people um so there's demand utility and there's limited supply which is based off limited supply there's also things in utility in crypto somebody talked that it's divisible it's storable, okay? Remember, you can't exchange things like a ham sandwich because if you, for 20 years, if you put a ham sandwich in a room, even in a vault, it, it degrades. So gold doesn't degrade. That's why people like precious metals. And that's why people like crypto because it's based on this open ledger. It's also, in a way, you know, it's very hard. It's possible to hack this. It's possible to steal gold. You can, somebody got it in their, you know, freaking house. You break in and you can take their gold. But crypto, it can be hacked, but the whole system is hard to hack because basically it's downloaded on, it's a decentralized network. There's not like one server or one set of servers. There's no Fort Knox. The US government stores its gold, a lot of it in this Fort Knox, right? You've heard of that. Well, there is no Fort Knox in crypto because it's decentralized. So that's, there's a power to that, okay? In some ways, if you do it right, it's more secure because to hack into the hash, the hashing system of crypto is basically trying to, you, you would need 100 years with the best supercomputers to try to do a brute force hack. Now, if somebody steals, like if you accidentally write it down on a piece of paper and leave it on your desk, people can access you know, your wallet and you can lose your money. And that's one thing, remember with crypto, if you lose it, you can't get it back. It's a little bit like gold. I was talking to a police detective. He said, if you got a gold necklace and they break in your house, they bring it right downtown here in LA 
and they melt it down. It's gone forever. You will never, ever get your money back. So in some ways, gold is very similar. So my main thing, for those of you who think there's no, no future for crypto, why is there a future for gold beyond the fact that it's been around for a long time? Because we know one thing in the world. Things that have been around for a long time are now disappearing. Kodak was around for 100 years. And then a couple kids here in California came up with an app called Instagram and destroyed, destroyed everything that we know as Kodak. It's a bankrupt company. We know that people used to go to stores and we know there's over 20 big brands per year going bankrupt because of Amazon and e-commerce. So we know it's the, we're living in a time where the fall of giants is happening. So gold has been a giant. And in many ways, one of the things Brock told me is you should think about Bitcoin specifically as a kind of cyber gold, a digital gold, a store of value. For the most part, people aren't trading Bitcoin. It's somewhat slow. It's not like a day traded thing very much. Okay, there are other coins that are being built on new infrastructures, Ethereum being one of them, but also like EOS. That's the one that, um, you know, Brock is the co-founder of. So somebody said, is this fake money? All money's fake money. Trust me, well, you, think, you think a dollar bill is made out of cotton. You think that a hundred dollar bill is made out of cotton. You think it's a hundred times more valuable than a one dollar bill made out, based out of cotton? You know, it's not how the game works. So what should you do about it? Well, here's my advice based on those people teaching in my Bitcoin crypto mentor mastermind. I'm bringing in the best mentors. What I've been doing for the last this year is basically traveling around the world or bringing the best guys to me. I had 30 people, thir I flew in or they flew in, uh, 30 of the top people in the world. I had a war room at my house. You guys probably saw it on my, on my um, uh, uh, Snapchat and Instagram. You're talking about people, uh, billions of dollars in that room, okay? Billions of dollars. So this is not newbies that bought one Bitcoin and, for a thousand bucks and now it's worth, they made 14 grand and they're like, see, I'm an expert. There's a lot of that going around, by the way. People who say they're experts because they read a lot of blogs all the time, blah, blah. Okay, that's great. Some of those people are, but I'm working with the people who, for example, created Ethereum or the people that are, you know, there from day one, the people that bought Bitcoin at a hundred dollars. Okay, that's the goal. And that's what I'm trying to share with you. So here's, here's a strategy that basically I want to walk you through. This is what Brock Pierce, like I said, probably, if not the most respected person in the whole world in this, you know, he's a top three person. You've got a handful of people that are very respected uh, because of what they've actually done and how much money they made. So basically, the first step is you have to educate yourself Okay, and that's, e that's hard because there's so much in misinformation and so many people, everybody now thinks they're an expert because if you buy right now, you bought at 400, I mean 4,000 and it went to 14,000, everybody's posting on their Instagram and their Twitter, oh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a exper I, I'm an experienced uh, Bitcoin investor and all. I don't, no, they're just catching a rising tide. They don't know. They don't know. You can do that in the stock market. You can buy some stock. You can throw a dart at a board, pick that stock, it goes up, and you can be like, look, I'm a freaking genius. You know, fuck that. We're talking about real people who actually know, who have actually coded the blockchain protocols, who have actually been there from the beginning. So this is the most important thing. Then recommend, in general, you basically want to, you create a, you don't want to take all your money, Okay. You don't want to take all your money out of everything else you have invested, out of real estate, out of your 401k, and take all your money and put it into crypto because there's a level of volatility that's going to be here for a long time. I told you, it may be too early to get in in the sense that if you are easily scared, there's going to be bumps that are going to freak you out and you're going to be the, like the masses. You're going to buy high 
and you're gonna sell low and you're gonna whine and complain because you lost money. But that comes back to here. So what you generally wanna be do, doing is looking at the market cap of the coins. By the way, this is Brock's exact answer. So if you guys wanna argue with me, I'm just giving you a person mentoring me his exact advice, he's a crypto billionaire. If you have a billion dollars, you're probably qualified to argue with him. If not, you might wanna listen to him. And you just wanna start and just buy the top coins and then just move down to the altcoins. So you can go, for example, if you just put in coin market cap, okay? Coin market cap right here uh, on Google. We can go, there's various sites, but I'm just gonna look at coin. So you got Bitcoin right now, market cap of 246 billion, trading at, oh man, it's about to break 15,000. <laughs> Um, you have Ethereum, okay, at 436, that's up, Bitcoin Cash. You've got IOTA and Ripple and Litecoin and Dash. And then you've got the forks, the Bitcoin Gold and Monero and Cardano, all these other ones, okay? So you can just start at the top and buy. So in order to buy correctly, here's the thing. You need to, first of all, know which exchanges to use. If you do this wrong, you can lose your money because exchanges are not yet governed. You gotta go, this is where you find, whether it be Bitcoin or Ethereum, you gotta go there and then you have to have a wallet and you probably need to have what's called a hot and a cold wallet, okay? Because basically it's like a little bit like gold, but the hot wallet and the gold, cold wallet, the difference between those is one that's stored like on your phone or your laptop and then others are offline on a piece of hardware that you can keep in a safe. You need to understand how to save. They're not really called passwords, but we'll just call them your, you know, you gotta know how to save your information to access. So you need to be doing that in a way because it can be stolen. Just like if you have gold, people can steal your gold, okay? So you've got your keys, right? So you're gonna have a, I wanna go in, I know some of you are very advanced. This is basically, we're trying to introduce the masses to this because if the masses understand this, there'll be more utility which will push the prices of all the good legit coins higher and higher, okay? By the way, they're just about to allow trading of future, uh, uh, basically options. So you'll be able to short Bitcoin which will probably stabilize the price, could push it down a little bit. By the way, should you be 100% afraid if it goes down? If you understand something called dollar cost averaging, you can make money when it goes down and up. Where's that piece of paper on, on David? Okay, so you have to understand how to store your keys. You have to understand how to transfer. By the way, where it gets a little complicated, you know, some of the wallets and exchanges that don't handle all the coins, so you need to know which ones to use. Um, good wallet is something like Jax is a good one. One of the uh, one of my mentors in this game, I consider a mentor. He's one of the co-founders um, of Ethereum. He, you know, they like Jax. But there's other ones you can use. There's also the ability to keep your money in an exchange, which a lot of people do. But you can also pull it offline. It's the way to think about it a little bit is like a vault. So you can have a vault offline, literally like you would have gold, and then you can transfer it into your hot wallet so that if you wanna buy stuff or trade with it, okay? Um, where did you write that out? The, uh, Was it just in a WhatsApp? Which one? Remember I said on the bios? Yeah. I thought it's on that big board over there. Okay. So, uh, seen a ton of questions. Silk Road, yeah, there was some website out there that Dread Pirate Roberts, when Bitcoin first started, and it's still now, it's used for some illegal purposes, just like cash, by the way. Some people, remember, cash is anonymous too. People go, but this anonymous isn't gonna be used for evil, but you think cash isn't being used for evil? Sometimes people know nothing. I'm like, where is people's common sense? You know what cash is being used for right now? People smuggling all kinds of crazy stuff. So, uh, 
crypto doesn't necessarily change the game. Dirty money, all money's dirty. The money in your wallet probably passed through somebody's hands doing something dirty with it. That's not a good, a lot of the arguments that you hear, a lot of the mentalities that you're hearing are just not very intelligent. What is that again? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, you did it. Oh, is it on, the, on my WhatsApp too? Under in what chat? Okay, uh, one of the things I'm gonna do, so here's the deal. Um, I see a lot of people asking, saying they wanna get in. The, I got a special thing, if you've been on my email list, you've been seeing, we're closing down. So you have until, you have two hours and 31 minutes. If you wanna get in, to the Bitcoin crypto mastermind, the mentorship, where I'll be literally bringing in the people that are te that are mentoring me in Bitcoin and crypto, the best of the best, the biggest of the biggest. We're talking, if you wanna learn about ICOs, which is a whole nother side of crypto, if you wanna learn blockchain, literally bringing in, for example, you know, I'm working on ICO and the lawyers we have, the number one lawyers in the world, the experts that we have, the number one people in the world. Flip that a page there. Oh, okay. Um, one more. Yeah, one of the one of the people that's training in the mentorship. He got into Bitcoin at three hundred and fifty dollars. That's his average purchase price. Not bad, 350, 350 bucks. It's now, what's 10 times 350 bucks? 3,500 bucks. So, he's now about 40 x his money. So, this is a game that I think is very important that you learn. I don't think it's gonna go away, but I think if you don't know what you're doing, people are already lost money, you know, already. One of the things, uh, one of the teachers, Dave, that was at my war room a few months ago, um, what did he got in? Yes, Stellar, XLM, he got in. He told everybody to get in at that mastermind at 1.5. Now it's at 15 cents, so it's 10 x literally in, what was that? October, so October two, two months. months. Put 10 grand in, put a grand in, you'd have 10 Gs. Now. The thing's gonna go up, the thing's gonna go down. Someone said, is crypto a giant Ponzi scheme? People don't know, people will throw out this phrase of pyramid schemes and Ponzi schemes. Uh, people don't know what they're talking about. Uh, because Ponzi's and, and pyramids are a little different. Basically, there's usually one person who like Bernie, Mad like Madoff, that's trying to like make money. This is a decentralized economy. Tesla's using it. Is te Tesla participating? Do you think Elon Musk is participating in a Ponzi pyramid scheme? Multi-level marketing? This is definitely not multi-level marketing. You don't get people under you. Um, it's going to fluctuate in value. There will be bubbles. We could currently be in a bubble. That is not necessarily, means nothing. I showed you earlier that things go in bubbles. Real estate went in a bubble. The internet went in a bubble. Real estate went in a bubble. Should you have bought Amazon? You could have bought Amazon at $1,000 on the IPO, uh, and you could have been, it's worth, it's gone up 249X. Yes, there you go. Someone said a bubble would be great. Now what you're gonna learn in this mastermind is the coins we're recommending, the coins we're not recommending, how to buy them, how to trade them, Okay, we're not guaranteeing you money. Nobody can do that. But I'm gonna be sharing you with you what I'm doing. That's the best I can do. I've been around the game of money for a long time. Okay, I've made a few bucks in my day. And so if you wanna go along with me, now why am I not making these videos available for everybody? Well, some of them I am. Like Brock's video is going on my public podcast. But the people that I'm bringing in, for example, not all, a lot of them won't come on this live call. Remember, 
A lot of the crypto people have made a ton of money. They don't necessarily want everybody knowing how much money they make. Some of them made three, 400 million bucks in the last couple of years. So basically they're mentoring me and I'm like, do you mind if I share this stuff with other people? And they're like, oh, I don't know if I want you to share. My live streams and my reach on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram right now is 200 million people a year. So what they are okay with me doing is getting the message out that this is for real, that some coins are gonna disappear, some cryptocurrencies, some ICOs are scams, and some are good, just like in business world, just like in the regular world. So I wanna take some of you on that journey with me. And I'm not gonna be able to take everybody. I will share a lot of stuff, like I said, in these calls and we'll be talking about it. But if you wanna get into the nitty gritty, I want you to consider in the next two hours, and what time is it? Two hours and 26 minutes, okay? Uh, that you come along with me. It's a very simple system. If you get in the group, you're going to get a special login and password. Do not share it with anybody. If you give it to your friends, you'll all be locked out permanently. So this is for you and you alone. You will get in, you will be able to go to your, on your phone, or you'll be able to go on your laptop, You'll be able to listen to audios or watch the videos. It'll be a step-by-step -step mentorship training on all aspects of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin. We'll be talking about the technologies. You'll be learning about blockchain. You'll be learning about the security measures. You'll be learning about the ICO side of things, which is the blockchain is bigger than, by the way, than just cryptocurrency. Probably the blockchain is going to, um, it's going to, take the place of the internet. The internet as you know it may no longer exist in a short period of time. I don't know when that'll be. Remember, the internet is insecure streaming of data and crypto is much more secure. It's like I said, it is literally decentralized. It's secure in the sense also that there's no one government, no one politician that could control it. So for those of you who want to get in, I'm going to be sharing and I want to talk more. I want to talk for a while here because like I said, Bitcoin's almost hitting 15,000. It's crazy. It's at 14,744 right now. By the way, another utility of cryptocurrencies, banks are closed on the weekends. I've tried to wire money and do big deals on Sunday. You can't do them, but you can do them with cryptocurrencies. It's no longer just Bank of America, Chase. HSBC that's going to be controlling this. Now, hopefully, I'm not going to get taken off planet Earth by some crazy assassin <laughs> sent by the U.S. government or somebody. So if I disappear, you might know it's because I'm starting to talk about this cryptocurrency thing. By the way, which is why a lot of these guys who are mentoring me don't want to do it publicly because they get the IRS after them. The IRS is starting to jump in the game. We'll be talking about that. The legal tax ramifications, because especially in the US, depending on where you live, the US government starting to want money. Well, we know what happens when the US government wants money. They're gonna come after people. So we wanna talk about that and make sure you do this safe way, legal way, but also intelligent way. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, you're going to get this password protected. It's, a, it's an eight week program. The goal is at the end of the eight weeks, okay, you are going to uh, be certified. So we're doing this Bitcoin crypto mentorship, this mastermind. At the end, we'll give you a, a series of tests online and certification. It's not a college degree. It's not a diploma. It just shows that you did it and you are certified. Okay, it means you've learned all aspects because one of the biggest things that Brock told me, crypto billionaire, he said, I'm afraid people aren't learning correctly and they're going out like, it's almost like having a pit bull. If you have a pit bull and you don't know how to train and handle a pit bull, you're gonna do a lot of damage because they're powerful dogs. And so he goes, I'm afraid, man, people are buying cryptocurrencies and they don't know how to store them. Zach's uncle, by the way, my buddy Zach, got $1,000 worth of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. He didn't know how to store his key. He lost it. He can't access it and will never, and it's worth 700 grand. He lost out on $699,000 because he was never educated. You're not gonna learn this in school. There is no university that's popping this out. I mean, there's universities talking about it now, 
okay? But I want to train you, and I want you to learn from the very, you know, one of, I talked about this yesterday. The reason the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer is because rich have access to information that the poor don't have. See, people go, oh, it's because the rich have access to capital. Yeah, that was true 100 years ago when we lived in a pure capitalistic society where all businesses needed capital to start. And businesses do better with capital, but there's plenty of businesses that start with no capital. I started my business with $100. Now I make 100 grand a day. It's not a capital intensive world. It's what you know. That's why Warren Buffett says, the more you learn, the more you earn. If you want to know this, you must become an expert. If you're just doing self-study, that's great but I'm gonna bring you the badasses of the world. That's my promise to you for those of you who get in this program. The ba I don't trust my bank account with anybody but the best. The first lesson you're gonna learn when you guys get in the program, I'm gonna put the link up in a second, I'm gonna put a button up. Brock Pierce teaching step-by-step -step in 15 minutes how to get started in crypto. And for those of you that are advanced, I had one of my buddies there listening. We were over at Brock's house by the beach. We were recording there for an hour or two. He was like mesmerized. We took a whiteboard. We laid it out exactly how to do it. And my friends advanced. And he was like, I did not know that stuff. How to store this stuff. There's so much bad information going out. This first lesson you'll get access will be worth all the money. Somebody says, is this Tulip Mania 2.0? No, you know nothing about Tulip Mania. The Tulip Mania was a bubble hundreds of years ago where the, the speculative price of tulips went through the roof. Tulips did not have utility. Crypto has massive utility, arguably much more than gold, arguably more than US dollars. The only difference is not backed by a sovereign entity. People know nothing. That analogy is not accurate, it's dumb. And you probably read a little bit too much of MSNBC to get your news from. If you're reading MSNBC or Fox or CNN to try to figure out cryptocurrency, you'll always be about one year behind. And while other people are making money, creating value in the system, you can be listening to some reporter who's never made more than 50 grand in their life. So if that's your goal. That's what the whole world does. They learn, they learn about, the whole world learns about money in three ways. 99% of people you ever meet. Number one, they learn about it in school, public or private school. From professors who, you know, people lie but numbers don't. When somebody says, Ty, I'll, I'll teach you something. Oh, you wanna teach me? How much did you make in it? Uh, 100 million, okay, you can teach me. That's my methodology. Somebody wants to train me, you guys see me training in the gym. I'm not a pro bodybuilder, as you could tell, but my trainer was Mr. Olympia last year. He won Mr. Olympia Classic, number one guy in the world. So when he goes, do this exercise with this form, I go, probably knows what he's talking about. Look, he got 20 inch biceps. The dude probably knows how to do bicep curls correctly. If you go to a gym and say, how do you do bicep curls? Everybody's got their opinion with little pencil arms. Same with money. The second way you learn about money is from your family and friends. I don't know about you, but I grew up with a single mom. My mom never made more than 20, 25 grand. So I, I, you know, I love my mom, but I don't get my business advice or my financial advice with my mom, from my mom. And the third place people learn is through the mass media. And that may be the worst of all because Look at how journalists work. For the most part, they want sensational headlines. Okay, they're not unbiased. Some of them are, there's some good reporters out there, but it's the sensational ones who create things like, ooh, this is the next, you know, this is the next tulip bubble. Well, Bitcoin's probably in a bubble right now. Probably, probably. So there's a good chance that things gonna go down. As it goes down, I wanna buy more myself. Um, but you need to know, by the way, which of the Bitcoins, there's not just one Bitcoin. So will it be Bitcoin Cash that wins? Bitcoin Gold, you know, will be the, the classic standard version of it. Like, you know, there's a lot to learn here, guys. A lot to learn. So, uh, oh yeah. So here's how it goes. I'm going to open this up now and we're going to keep talking about this. But for those of you 
who want to spend the next eight weeks. Now, it's not a full-time job. It's not like school. We're going to have massive homework. You're going to get access to three things. The online mentorship. You're going to get access to a private Facebook group. Some of you, we have an upgrade in terms of if you want to be in a Telegram group, but private Facebook group where you can ask your questions. Okay, And the third thing is private live calls. So this is a public live call I'm doing. Private live call, bringing in experts who will be training you. You can ask them questions. It will be small group. Part of the reason I do a paid program is because when I do it free, too many people get in. And it's not fair to people who are really serious that they get bombarded with people who aren't serious. Okay? So you get access to these three things. And I'm going to put, so if you're watching on YouTube, there is a link at the top. And in the description. And the description. You click that. I want, you must click that link because I'm about to give you a whole bunch of bonuses. How much are the bonuses worth? What is on the list? It's like two to $5,000 worth of yeah. stuff I'm going to give you for free. Okay? So if you're on Twitter, it's in the title. It's clickable. If you're on Instagram, it's right there in the comment. It's pinned. If you're on Facebook, it is in the title. Now, if you're on my website and you're watching, click the link. It should be a button below or on the sides here, okay? And if you don't see it at all, and you want it just here, I'll write it out. You go to tylopez.com slash Bitcoin. Doesn't matter, it could be uppercase, lowercase. Tylopez.com slash Bitcoin, one word. You're going to then get at, taken to a 256-bit SSL encrypted page, okay? As quickly as you enter your info, the next page, you're going to get access to a phone scheduler where you can talk with my team. That's also important if you need some, I'm going to give you one custom free call with my team. I can't open up the phone lines to everybody whenever they want to call, but we'll have one phone scheduler and then you'll have instant access. And we're just starting, by the way, you'll be one of the first people in. We just opened this up last week. but. People got in before I had any of the lessons even uploaded. So now you're getting, we already have about 10 of the lessons in there. We're gonna give you over the next eight weeks more than you can even handle. So don't feel like you gotta watch every lesson. Some of the stuff that's in there is not for you. You don't need to know everything in there. You can pick and choose what you really want. So we have $4,882 bonus, uh, dollars worth of bonuses. I'm gonna put the price up. Can you put, write that out so I see. How much, I wanna talk about how much it costs, and then I'm gonna be reading the names of those of you who get in the test group. Because I wanna to, I want to talk to you personally. Um, all right. Give me one second. All right, if I do All right. Sorry, someone's in. There are much better instruments to put money into than crypto. This is somebody, Devin. Every dime you put into crypto is something you should assume is gone, no underlying value. Devin Scott has been educated in the mass media system. I can tell. I feel bad for you, Devin, because you do not know what you're talking about. We don't all need to agree, by the way. But you can't make false statements. <laughs> and I was like, not everybody has to agree. Some people think crypto is going to go down to 10,000, 3,000. Some people think it's going to go to 150, a million. But you can't just say it has no underlying value. Like, that's what's gold's underlying value? Do you use gold a lot? It's a big part of your life. You wake up and you go, Where's my gold cane? Where's my golden slippers? Where's my car made of gold? Gold has demand utility. Because it's a limited in supply. I mean, it, it, this is a dumb, dumb conversation. Sometimes I get dragged into these. If, by the way, you guys want to have a real discussion, 
we can, I mean, a real debate on real subjects, we can. All right, just give me a second. I'm having to text somebody. Okay. So let's read off the people already jumping in the group, and I'll explain more. Somebody said, Ty, I just made four, I've made $44,000 on Bitcoin. By the way, I want to teach you how to lock in your profits. There's a system. Remember, what goes up might go down. If you do the damn thing wrong, it might go up and your 44 grand might disappear. There's a way to lock in profits with still have potential for upside. Okay, congratulations from, Mal from Melina Chin. She's based in New York. She's watching on YouTube. Congratulations, Brian Schmidt. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the mastermind. Uh, Fernando Ornelas. Welcome to the group. You can upload a picture when you're getting in, if you would like. Congratulations to Juan Guerrero. You are from Colorado. It's interesting how many people are coming from how many different places. Carlos Villaratia. Welcome to the group in Texas. Nicholas Grozy. Watching. Oh, here, you uploaded a picture with your dog. What's up, Nicholas? He's in Facebook on in Massachusetts. Awesome, Patrick Hall. Oh, you got a picture here, got some dreads. Cool. By the way, in the Facebook group, you'll meet other people in the community. You know, you can talk, meet up, and be cool. There's, David Medrano says, there's opportunity in crypto as far as gains. Grab that opportunity at the moment. Smart to invest a small amount of money into several altcoins, Roque de Leon asks. So I'm just going to tell you what my mentors are teaching me. Some people are going to agree, some people are going to disagree. Brock said start at the top with the largest, most stable coins and go down. If you want to take, and we'll teach you, one of the people teaching Dave in the program, you know, and uh, also Dan Fleischman, he was one of the first people, by the way, to put in Bitcoin ATM machines. I think it was the first, was he the first person in the world to put in Bitcoin ATMs? He basically says, you know, you, you want to create a ratio. So the, you take your overall amount of money. You don't want to put all your money into Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. Some people are doing that. It's probably too dangerous, okay? What you want to do is create a diversified portfolio. So if you have your 401k in the stock market, by the way, stock market, might be a bubble. People are forgetting to talk about that nowadays. Uh, it's already starting to crash. Recently, I've been predicting for the last 12 months, or six months, sorry, that there's gonna be a stock market crash uh, here. No one knows, I don't like, you can never, anytime someone predicts a day or a month, they're an idiot. But you can see general trends and cycles. So in general, there's a high valuation on stocks. Things are trading at extreme, what they call PDE ratios, you know, price to earnings ratios basically means how much money they're actually generating revenue wise versus what they're selling for. And anytime that gets too out of whack, that's what happened in Miami and around the world in the real estate bubble. People were paying, you know, $2 million for a home you couldn't even rent out for four grand. The earnings power of the asset was the, the price had exceeded the earnings power. And that's what we're seeing in many markets, especially the stock market. But you still want to keep some money in the stock market. It'll correct itself if you keep dollar cost averaging in. We're going to be teaching you how to dollar cost average into, you know, cryptocurrencies too. You take whatever percentage of money you're willing to put in crypto, we'll be talking about this, and then you can diversify within crypto, just very similar to the stock market. You have your large cap. You know what large cap stocks mean? Large cap stocks mean like large market capitalization. It's exactly, if you go to coin market caps, you can see the largest market cap coin right now by far is Bitcoin. The second largest is Ethereum. So it's a little bit like the S&P 500, although these are not securities and equities, they're different, but the market cap part is similar. And then you have penny stocks. And some people like to invest in penny stocks. You have micro stocks, you have small to mid cap stocks. So you want to employ a very similar strategy that's worked for a hundred years, okay, in traditional marketplace, and you want to basically somewhat apply that to the new world of cryptocurrency, okay? Um, so 
here, how much does the program cost, by the way? I see people asking that. By the way, congratulations, Nadine Bejao. She's in Washington State. Van Trong, welcome to the group. He's on Facebook in California. Jack Paulson, welcome to the group in Arizona. Ben Winchester, welcome to the group. California, okay. Juan Velasquez, now a few of you, I see your card has declined. You can call the phone number on my website. If you're on my website, there's a phone number that will send you an auto email. You can reply to that or you can live chat on my website, tylopez.com to help you with that, okay? Um, okay, how much does it cost? So basically, I, I, this is my philosophy on everything that we sell. A couple differences from online, uni I mean from university. So the average cost of a university is $10,000 per year. If you average public and private school, it's roughly some, something like that, okay? In the US, some countries have free school. It's not really free, they just, in Europe, they have higher taxes, okay? Um, next. Hey, uh, Adrian. Yeah. These ones? Yeah. Do that. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I see. Pretty much, that's a drool on anything that's like that. I put that button specifically for. You don't need to do that one. Okay, so I don't want to charge ten grand for this, even though I'm spending. You know how much money I spent in the last three months doing the masterminds, traveling with these mentors, jetting around. If you've watched my Snapchat, you've seen probably I've spent about two hundred thousand dollars on my own education. The more you learn, the more you earn. That's my philosophy. So I know that's out of the reach of when I got started. I didn't have any money in business. So I'm not expecting people to be able to do 200 grand. I would definitely pay 10 grand for the one video with Brock Pierce. And the videos, even the ones we just have now, I would pay 10 grand just because I like to learn from the best. I like the security of learning from the best. That's how I think about it. When you learn from people that are average, you can never be really sure if you got the right info. So, um, I thought maybe I would do it for a thousand, okay? But I've been testing this year, and a lot of people, a thousand, I mean, I went one-tenth of college. That's the cost of community college. For a lot of people, that was too expensive. Even though people spend this all day to go to community college, and get an art history credit or some wacky thing like that where you can just study history in a book, people will still pay. Okay, so I decided that I'm gonna go even lower than that. I'm gonna put it in half. So if you do one payment, it's only 500 bucks. But I know for some of you, even some of you, it's, and it's not 500, it's a little under like 490 or something like that. Um, for those of you who can't even afford that, I decided to put it in a multi-payment. So, it's, and it's times three, right? Can you double check? That needs to be up on a board because I can't always remember that. 197 times three. So, you pay a little bit more, but you can get into this for under 200 bucks. There is nothing that I know of at that price. I've seen some people launch cryptocurrency courses for $2,500, $5,000, $10,000, and you're not learning from all these different people, you're learning from one person. My, not my philosophy to learn just from one person, okay? So how do you get access? You go there on Instagram, you go to tylopez.com slash Bitcoin, you click the link. Now, I'm gonna show you the bonuses, because I have some very important bonuses for you. The bonuses, um, like I said, this is available, by the way, you, only for an hour, well, what time is it? Two hours and two minutes left to get in. I need to announce this on my Snapchat. Can you bring, I'm gonna do this. By the way, if you want in on the Bitcoin mentorship that I have, the crypto, Bitcoin's over 14,000. We've been talking about, is this thing a bubble? You've got two hours to get in. 
you're missing the live call, but I'm giving you a shorter version. We're talking about, you know, is this a bubble? Remember, Amazon went from 1,000 to 239,000. That would have been if, or what you would have gotten in Amazon. And Amazon was in the internet bubble. So bubbles aren't necessarily bad. Utility is what matters. Is there utility to crypto versus gold? We've been talking about this. But I want to train you. It's a two-month program. Give me eight weeks. I'm bringing in the best mentors in the world. The first lessons you'll get access to today are from world experts, maybe the best expert in the world, Brock. So go here to this link. Get access. you got two hours. Can you write the caption, Nathan? Okay. I'm back. Sorry. Um, did you reset Insta? One share is 14,000. That's not how Bitcoin works. Never call it a share. Share implies equity. So if you want to have a share of Amazon, a share of Snapchat, that is what you would call it. You would call it either equity, shares, if you're doing debt, you know, it's a bond. Um, but those are different. Cryptocurrencies are not yet regulated in the same way by the SEC. They're not yet, uh, well, they're not shares of value. So basically, here's how a share works. If you own a share in Amazon, a share in Berkshire Hathaway, a share in Apple, you're entitled to distributions of profit called dividends. If you are a bondholder or a debt holder, a debenture holder, you are entitled to set payments either quarterly, annually, or sometimes on the back end, okay? Um, crypto has none of those characteristics. Cryptocurrency has different types of utility. You are not, there's no Bitcoin company that you now own one small fractional interest in. There's no fractional interests, okay? So think of this like virtual gold. That's what Brock mm. teaches uh, in the program. It's virtual gold. Just like you would have a coin, that coin is not literally, you know, you're not, you don't own some of Apple, right? You don't own some of, of, of uh, Disney. The coin in and of itself has a value in this, a supply and demand economy. Okay, that's how the thing works. It's much simpler in a sense, but it, in other ways it's more complicated than gold because gold has, is physical. And there's been at times, you know, Bitcoin physical, but that's not relevant to what we're talking about. Everything people are talking about is not a physical Bitcoin. It's literally a digital currency that's uh, basically you keep track of it on something that's similar to an Excel spreadsheet, but it's called an open ledger. So anyone can validate. It's being validated by other people. It's not like an Excel you keep on your computer, but that's a good way to think about it for beginners. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, just put the time, two hours left or whatever. And then do a screenshot on the next one where you know you do the dark one. And yes. then put it, put a bigger font and then say also put a swipe up to it. Um, learning chart. Now, we'll talk. Okay, so what are you going to get at? What are you going to learn? Where's the, the core program? So this is what you're going to learn. And there's a lot more to this, but I didn't want to sit here and write for one hour, but. So we'll be talking about, for those of you who need to know the fundamentals, and for some of you who think you're advanced, still go through the fundamentals. You know the greatest basketball players, the greatest football players, the greatest soccer players, the greatest baseball players. You know what they practice? The fundamentals over and over and over and over again. The fundamentals of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blockchain are very complex, even for people who have been in it. And by the way, nobody's really been in it for that long. There's not, no one can say, oh, I've been in cryptocurrency for the last 50 years. Brock was in it in the 90s, but it was virtual currencies, like video gaming stuff. So I, everybody's a beginner. Unless you are Vitalik or co you know, my buddy who's a co-founder of Ethereum, the guys that actually coded you know, smart contracts and the whole Ethereum chain. If that's not you, you probably still would be well off learning. We'll be talking about buying and selling coins. 
What we talking about, should you just do the big coins? Which of the altcoins, the small cap coins, the new coins that are coming out on the ICO market? We'll be talking about the investment strategies, long-term holding versus trading. People are doing something called pump and dump. In a sense, it's not totally illegal yet. Pump and dump is illegal in the securities market, but this coin world is in this gray area. But I still, we're gonna recommend the ethical thing to do. We're gonna be talking about um, ICOs, very important part. It's a whole separate thing to understand. And it's important, some of you who are launching businesses are no longer gonna go to venture capitalists. You're no longer gonna go to Shark Tank. You know, Mark Cuban's been here, right here. We sat right here, and, you know, he's an investor. It's no longer just gonna be that. It's going to be people raising money through an initial coin offering, not an IPO, an initial public offering, an initial coin offering. And you need to understand those. I'm gonna train you. The group's gonna train you. Remember, I will be teaching the things I'm an expert at, but I'm not an expert at a lot of these things. In fact, very few people are. So I'm going out and finding them for you. Um, blockchain technology. Brock is a, this is his real thing. More than coins and cryptos and Bitcoin. He loves this bad boy. He loves the, you know, open source blockchain technology. is probably gonna change the real estate market. It's probably gonna change the education system. It's probably gonna change the medical system. It's going to change and probably replace the internet as we know it. You'll no longer be going to website. It's gonna transform Amazon. It's gonna transform Facebook. It's gonna transform apps. It's big. Big, 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 okay? Um, now, the bonuses you're gonna get. These are big, as I told you. This private Facebook group, you're gonna get more value just out of that. Normally we charge 500 bucks for that, 497. I'm gonna give you that free. As I told you, call with my team, we're gonna waive the fee for that. The monthly live calls, and sometimes we'll even do them weekly, okay? That's $500, you're gonna get that waived. You're gonna get a ticket to a conference in the next year, okay? Next year we're gonna do a conference. You're gonna get first rights to go, because they always sell out, plus you're gonna get your ticket free. I'm gonna give you a green belt closing the sale. Why am I putting this in? It's very important, especially for those of you doing ICOs, you understand persuasion, you understand markets, you understand the 25 cognitive biases of the brain. That's all important for this game. So that's a $2,000 package. So you're gonna get $4,882 you worth. You've got an hour and 54 minutes, okay? All right, where do you go to get access? Oh, by the way, people that are teaching, first person you're gonna learn from, and mark my words, those of you in crypto know this is no joke, I asked them to do me a favor. I know, I've known Brock for 10 years. Um, we met in 2000, well, nine years. Known him for nine, nine years. For those of you who know crypto, this is probably the most respected guy in the world. Number one, there maybe you argue there's a few other people, okay? This weekend, I went to his house. He was literally, had to, was gonna have to helicopter to my house. He's going, he's just spoke at the largest crypto Bitcoin conference in South America. I said, Brock, please, will you do a free podcast so I can just share this with everybody? But, and can you do a private lesson for me for people in my paid program? And he said, sure. I went over there, you saw it on my Snapchat, we were recording, we recorded a, an hour long podcast, but then I said, let's break this down for people in the Bitcoin crypto mentor mastermind. And I said, dude, just, one piece of paper, one board, 15 minutes. Explain in 15 minutes. So your lesson number one, what people need to know, and they'll be in the 99.999 percentile of people in Bitcoin automatically. So he's the, and he did that. So those of you getting in in a minute, go watch Brock's lesson. It's the most important lesson you can have. There's nothing you can buy. If you might say, oh, I'm not gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy a book. There's no books on this. I bought a book on crypto and it was talking about, they were arguing in the book if Bitcoin will ever pass 300. 
This thing's moving too fast for books. There's no college class. By the time they put out a class, by the time the semester's there for the class and they plan it all out, it, it's all outdated. Some of the coins are gonna be gone. Some of the stuff people are being told to invest in is gonna go to zero. Some of it's gonna go up. Like I said, those of you, if you could have come to my, I invited 33 people to my house in October. The best of the best. The best of the best were there, okay? One of my buddies who's a trader, he moved out of the US. So he's, I think he's made 200 million bucks in crypto. And um, he was there and we were talking about what coins to buy. And the second teacher, sorry, the third teacher. And by the way, this is just getting started. There'll be over 100 people I predict that will teach, okay? It's not gonna be exactly 100, but when you count the live calls, the private Facebook group. I'm gonna keep it to about 10 or 20 of the top people that teach the main program. So Dave was there, he was recommending people get into Stellar, this coin on October 4th. It was at one and a half cents. Today it's at 15 cents, 10 exit. Now, this program is not necessarily us telling you which coins to buy. That's kind of a fool's game. No one knows the exact future. And if you see a program out there that says, buy my program and you will be a multimillionaire, guarantee, run, it's a scam. I'm not an idiot. I'm not gonna promise you that. What I'm gonna promise you is you're gonna learn from the best. And when you learn from the best, good things happen. That's all I can tell you. Imagine if you learn basketball and LeBron James would come to your house and teach you through your phone. And you have live calls where you can talk to him. That would help your basketball. Imagine you wanna learn football, soccer, and Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar. They're personally mentoring you. You get better at soccer than if you learn from some high school coach. And that translates into what you want. Safety, security, growth, wealth. That's where wealth comes from. Somebody said LeBron is overrated. <laughs> yeah. People don't know much about basketball. He's only, what, how many rings does LeBron have? Four? LeBron being over, you might argue he's not the best of all time, that Jordan is better, but uh, yeah. Um, somebody said Ty loves athlete metaphors. No, no, that's fine, you can do it. Um, yeah, because it's easier to understand, crypto is complicated. Okay, um, one of my buddies, he just had a, he's the youngest founder of a publicly traded company in history. The man prints money, he's always printing money. It was like I said, he was negotiating the placement of Bitcoin ATMs and casinos four years ago. You talk about ahead of your time. He just did one of the baddest ass crypto masterminds. Brock is recommending to me all the other people. I've got a couple guys that are teaching, but they won't come on video. So I'm trying to get them to get, let me, so they just text me advice. Literally, I was talking to one of them today. These are the co-founders of the Bitcoins. I won't say which coin. And um, literally he texted me, I'm gonna cover his name. He texted me, that is, it's gonna seem like it's a setup. What time does that say? That was three minutes ago he texted me. He specifically said, do not put me on camera ever. He's made, like I said, three, 400 mil, but he don't, want to, he don't want the IRS or governments knowing about him. But he's a co-founder of one of the top three coins. How about that, I'll say. So, what I'm doing with their stuff is just putting it in like a Mr. X video. So it's kind of cool where it's just me reading off my notes off my phone to you. Okay. Man, there is a lot of people asking questions. What, do you, what questions do you have on this uh, Bitcoin crypto mentorship, this mastermind? What do you got? Somebody said LeVar Ball is the best player of all time. Did you guys see me in my podcast? I just interviewed LeVar Ball. Uh -huh. Taxes. We'll be talking about taxes. I've got some lawyers that are coming in teaching lessons. Um, that's very important. The, the, the tax thing is going to become a big one. Mark my words. The tax thing going to become a damn big issue. I said this at the mastermind about four uh, about, sorry, uh, eight, 12 weeks ago, I said the taxes is gonna be the big issue. We're gonna be talking about, Ty, what percentage of my money should I invest in crypto? 
We're gonna be talking about how you come up with that number. Nobody can tell you the number. Nobody can say, oh, you put in $1,000 or you should put in 100,000. I don't know your situation. I don't know much how much money you have. I wanna teach you how to figure it out for yourself. Remember, self-education what you want. If you become smarter, that's where wealth is created. You can't just have a puppet telling you what, you can't be a puppet with other people telling you what to do, okay? Um, the IRS are suckers. They might be suckers, but they're powerful. <laughs> they are powerful. Okay. Da -da -da. <clears throat> okay. Let me read off the names of people getting in the program. Okay, Robert, your card has declined. Sometimes, if you, especially if you're out of country. By the way, no matter where you live, how old you are, that's the beauty of cryptocurrency. There's no difference between living in the US and living in Canada or Mexico or you know Armenia or Malaysia, except in the US, ICOs are more regulated. So in some ways, it's just it, you have advantage of being outside the US, if anything. Her, Hermont, Hemont, Got in, he did the one payment option. Your card will not be recharged magically. There's no weird thing like that. If you do the three pay option, it'll every 30 days, it will be uh, you know, charged. Okay, this does not say where you live. So, Ivan Gestoso, welcome to the group. So as soon as you get in the group, the first thing to do, log in, don't share your password with anybody. And like I said, if you share this, it'll lock you out. So be keep it in a safe place. It's good practice for all of you guys. You got to keep your key uh, private. If you lose it or if it's hacked, you, someone can steal all your cryptocurrency, steal all your bitcoins, steal all your ETH, steal your stuff. So same way with this password. I'm letting you and you alone. Eight weeks. You, if it takes you a little longer, that's okay. At the end, you'll be getting a certification. What's the certification good for? Like I said, it's a decentralized certification. It's not some college diploma. There's no use for a diploma. You can't get a diploma in Bitcoin. I mean, what are you gonna do? Get a job with that? It just shows that you've done it and you know. What's up with ETH? Are you asking what ETH is? ETH is a short way of saying Ethereum. You don't always say Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. Um, what are Bitcoins? All right, that's some basic questions. Some of you are getting here early uh, or late. Uh, and that's fine. Cool. Stephen Hart, welcome to the group. Sorry. Kimar Koch from St. Andrew. Is that Canada? You know what I'm excited about? Here's, what, here's my goal for this thing. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. That you getting in early on new technology and new trends, and you get in it for the long term. Okay? If some of you are trying to come in here, make a quick buck today, you know, over the next seven days, and that's your goal. This is not the program for you. I just want to literally make that clear for you guys. That's not the intention of this group. There are people trying to do pump and dump, really quick stuff, and that is not what my mentors, guys like Brock, that's not in the spirit of this thing. That's not what we're trying to do. It's risky. You can lose a lot of money. It's a problem, okay? I want to teach you the legit stuff, that's a diversification tool. You know, I used to own a wealth management company and one of the things you would do was you would, uh, you know, diversify some into precious metals. You'd put two to 5% of your portfolio into things like gold, into things like silver. And you can still do that. By the way, uh, I've got an, a traditional investment program which teaches you how to invest in things like gold and silver. So I'm not, this is not a replacement of everything you've ever learned. This is you getting, just like the internet didn't replace everything right away. There's still pizza stores. There's still Walmart. The internet has disrupted though. And it's changed the game. And that's what I want to teach you guys to do. How to be part of that initial part that's changing the game. Um, Bill Gates said he doesn't think this can be stopped. Elon Musk is accepting this stuff. The country of the Philippines as a country has accepted it. Some countries have banned it. China banned ICOs. Russia banned you know, these cryptocurrencies and then they created their own currency. 
Good old Russian government, boy. No comment <laughs> on, on Russia, but uh, they're very interesting country on uh, how they do things. <clears throat> Venezuela just did it. The options market, large banks in the US are now, I know the, I got inside information that they're not putting in the news. Some of the biggest banks in the world, they're so scared of this stuff, they've hired one or 200 crypto experts, crypto, uh, you know, blockchain programmers and people that can help them develop the technology because they are scared. Because they know, and you and I should be scared. You don't get, it's okay to be quote unquote late. As I told you, one of my mentors, Brock Pierce said, it's not a matter whether it's too late, it's whether it's too early. You know, it's whether it's too early. It's not a matter of whether it's a bubble, it's a matter of is there utility. If it's a bubble and it pops temporarily like the internet did in the early 2000s, it's a great time to buy in. If it popped like it did in 2008 with real estate, it's a great time to buy real estate. One of my buddies was over here. I took him to the uh, Laker game. We had courtside seats. You probably saw him. There's the guy sitting next to me. Uh, he had curly hair. And he, um, in 2008, real estate crashed and he was a hedge fund guy and people owed him money and they couldn't pay him back so they just gave him all their real estate. So he instantly became a real estate investor in 2008, 2009, 2010. People were giving him their shopping malls and all this stuff. He said, Ty, I had to learn a new thing but it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Now he probably owns $500 million worth of real estate because of the bubble. So if crypto starts to be in a bubble, potentially a lot of people are gonna buy at a low price. But I want you to understand, some of the cryptocurrencies are gonna disappear, okay? Some of them are going to, they already are. They're, they're gonna be thinly traded. You're not gonna be able to get your money out. So you need to be know, you need to know what you're doing here, okay? The number one thing that people, that I've learned from the whales of this industry is that you must know what you're doing or you're gonna cause a lot of heartache to yourself and to other people, okay? And I don't want that to happen. For those of you getting in right now in the Bitcoin crypto mentorship, the mastermind group, okay? I'm bringing in the best, they're teaching me, I'm filming it and sharing it with you, okay? That's what I'm doing. So the first lesson alone is worth more than 500 bucks. But, by the way, why am I charging money for this? Well, I've got a lot of expenses on this. Like when I went to Brock's house, I brought a whole team, you know, brought eight people with me to film the thing, to edit the thing. I've got a whole customer support concierge team. I'm flying people in. I'm doing whatever it takes to bring you the best people. I've invested a quarter million dollars in the last two months in my own education. You've seen it all over my snap. You see all those private jets I was getting to fly around the world? I mean, well, I wasn't going around the world, around the US, and because I wanna learn from the best before I do something. I never do anything if I don't know what I'm doing. It's too dangerous. I've tried that before. You know, before I really got into business, I learned from the best. I got the best mentors in the world. I'm applying that same knowledge to the Bitcoin. So, and all the crypto coins. By the way, for those of you who don't know, it's not just about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's just one of many different coins. And it's a technology too. It's the chain, the blockchain. And there's multiple ones. There's Ethereum chain. And there's, of course, <clears throat> a new one called EOS. And that's EOS is the one that Brock developed himself, or he's the co-founder. Miguel Trancoso did the three pay option in Texas from YouTube Live, welcome to the group. Shane saved a little bit of money by doing the one payment. Welcome to the group, also in Texas. What's up, is this Texas day? <laughs> uh, Kirk, well, or Kirk Thompson, Tompkin, sorry, did the one payment option, welcome to the group. Benjamin Warren, welcome to the group. Janine Tanmino, welcome to the group. Adam Brown, welcome to the group from Georgia. Seeing people in multiple countries. Daniel Hianu from YouTube Live, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to the group. Ty, how do you read a book a day? How do you bench press 300 pounds? You start small and you build yourself up. There is no billionaire in our neighborhood. If every neighborhood is billionaire, I'm a billionaire. 
Hey, Todd, buddy, you're still going. Altcoin to invest. You're going to learn here. What we recommend is start with the bigger coins and just work your way down. You know, start with the Bitcoins and the Ethereum. You can work your way down to the Bitcoin Cash and the Dashes and the Litecoins and stuff like that. And if you really want to go to the very bottom and pick some of the coins that are thinly traded that are highly speculative like a penny stock. They're not stocks, by the way, but priced low like a penny stock. You can do that, but you probably don't want to put all your money. Why does it say live video paused? Do we pause it? Is Insta... Try it now. It's still going. It's still going there. Um, penny coins. No, they're not penny coins. Don't get confused. Do never confuse the stock market with cryptocurrency. Never call... Cryptocurrency is not an investment per se. It's not traditional investments. Okay. Like I said, it's a little bit more like gold. It's more of a store of value, especially Bitcoin. Oops. Sorry. Tom, watching you from Kenya, Africa. Hello, my friend. Start a Thai coin. <laughs> We've thought, I'm working on an ICO, so. But I, I haven't decided if I'm going to call it the uh, Thai coin. I don't think I will. Doesn't need to have my name on it. Sonia Perez. Got women getting in. We have men getting in. We have Americans getting in. We have non-Americans getting in. It's truly a decentralized, awesome world. Edgar Vargas from Facebook. What's up, Edgar? Welcome to the group. Did the one payment plan. Get in there tonight and start learning. Remember, you're going to learn and then you take action. All success in life is a very similar, whether it's crypto, look, everything in cryptocurrency is the same as anything in life. Look, this is how it goes. There's a diversification tool mentality that you must have. You don't want to put all your money in one thing. There's a risk tolerance profile that you have to determine. We'll talk about that. There's, there's a risk reward continuum that never changes, whether you're investing in real estate, businesses, Bitcoin, or the stock market. When you understand these things, you, it begins to all, there's an intrinsic value aspect to it, okay? There's a valuation aspect. There's a bubble aspect, which is otherwise more accurately named volatility aspect that you must understand. By the way, if this sounds hard, it's because the, uh, the school and the public school education system didn't really teach us these things. I've had to learn these the hard way. I grew up most of my teenage years in a mobile home. Nobody in my family was teaching me this stuff. Nobody in my junior high, high school was teaching me this stuff. I went out and had to learn these from the best mentors in the world. And that, you know, right now I have the number one um, pod, business podcast. Today I'm number one podcast in the world. The number one bit. Let me see if I still am. An hour ago I was. And I'm saying this not to brag. I'm saying this because I want you to understand why would I make a podcast? So here you go. We click on business. Ah, I got knocked off by NPR. I'm number two. Can you guys see that? It bounces around. I bounce between number one and number two there. Okay. So why do I have a podcast? Because in every area, I want to learn from the best. I want to interview them. Right here, I've had Mark Cuban. I've had, I just had Tom, who founded MySpace. Number one site in the world in 2006 and 2007. He sold it for $580 million. He's teaching me. I had you know, Wolf of Wall Street just was just here. Jordan Belfer. I had Russell Brunson. His company's worth a billion dollars. Probably two billion in three years. Billionaire. Now, he hasn't cashed in. But that's my philosophy on life. I want to learn about crypto. I want to learn from the best. The school system is the primary reason your bank account is not where it is. Trust me. It's the school system. You could, I don't know if it's a purposeful conspiracy. You know, I think it's more the fact that we use the same educational methodology as a man named Bismarck, who was the leader of Germany. Remember, Germany's only been a country since the late 1800s. Before then, it was fragmented into Pomerania and, you know, Bavaria and all these different multiple pro uh, territories. 
He created an education system to create soldiers, Prussian soldier, soldiers. And that educational model, England used to look up to Germany. They were cousins. The, re the leaders were cousins. So what would happen was they wanted to emulate and then they wanted to emulate France. You had Francophiles in Russia and it was this whole incestuous mentality in Europe, the leaders. And they all created this bourgeois education system which created robotic people that would serve the wealthy. It would serve the wealthy. It would serve the aristocrats. It would su serve the bourgeois. And so what happened is, it, who came to America? Europeans. So Ameri Europeans came to the United States and those Europeans just brought along Bismarck's mentality of let's sit people in classes, let's teach them reading, writing, and arithmetic. Let's not teach them how to think for themselves. They, let's, well, they eliminated logic. The Greeks used to teach logic thousands and thousands of years ago. So they went, they went backwards. Let's just create people who do what we say. We put them in a nine to five job. We're not gonna teach them to make money because if we teach them to make money, they can't just be robots sitting in cubicles. And that is the exact thing that happened and is happening to hundreds of millions of kids every single day, going on school buses and learning jack shit that's relevant for their life. They're not learning about investing. They're not learning about real estate. They're not learning how to pay their bills. They're not learning how to not get in debt. They're not learning how to create wealth through entrepreneurialism. They're not learning how to self-educate. They're not learning how to read. They're definitely not learning about Bitcoin and crypto. They're, what are they learning? What? Why are we still memorizing that Helena is the capital of Montana? Who gives a shit? Google was invented. Why do you need to know that now? Oh, no. Well, we have a teacher's lobby and a union that is very powerful. I honestly tell you, I hope I don't get in trouble for this stuff. You know? I'm now talking about cryptocurrency and I've been attacking the school system. If I disappear from the planet, you guys, it won't be a coincidence of what, what happened to me. I launched a cryptocurrency to educate everybody on this new potential. You know, I'm already in enough hot water. People are already mad at me. So if this is my last live call, thank you all for being here to listen. Someone said, is the best website to invest in Coinbase? So Coinbase is the largest. It's an exchange. People use it as a wallet too. People keep money on there. You'll learn in the program a better method to do it. So Coinbase is okay. Um, you know, there's multiple. You need to have more than one tool. Like I said, you need to have a hot wallet and a cold wallet. There's things like Crack and there's things like Gemini. There, there's things like Jax. So we'll be talking about all of those, okay? What comes after crypto? Well, you need to learn the blockchain because blockchain is much bigger than crypto. And those of you who understand crypto uh, and blockchain, you're gonna be able to do ICOs, you're gonna be able to change the world. This thing's bigger. This thing's bigger than some Bitcoin going to 14,000, okay? Someone asked, what's the refund policy? So, very simple. Everything I do has a 100% money back guarantee. So, for the whole 60 days. So, it's a 60 day program. The whole 60 days, if you go through it on day one, day eight, day 29, day 59, day 60, the whole time, if it wasn't what you expected, if you already knew it all, if you didn't think the teachers were good, if you didn't like the voices of people, if you thought the website should have been red and it was blue, we'll send you your money back. We're not, in the, and that's another thing, the school system now, college system specifically, if you don't get a good education, they keep all the money. Everything else in the world, you can get an, you can get a refund at a sushi restaurant. You know. Um, it's a crazy world. You can't get that's why there's 1.2 trillion dollars in college debt. 1.2 trillion held by the government. It's a big earner for the government. People don't realize that. Did you know that? It's a big earner for the government the interest that students are paying on these loans. It's big income for private entities that lend. 1.2 trillion, and they think it's larger than that. They think it's probably about 2 trillion. So, okay. Who has questions about the group in general? Someone asked, is the membership for life if they're in the Facebook group? Like, can they interact for life in there? So, what we'll do for the uh, Facebook group 
because we're gonna let you in for one year, okay? It's not for life. The program, and it's a two month program, but if some of you need a little bit longer and you're, you're busy because it's <clears throat> holidays or you're traveling, that's okay. We're not in it to just lock you out. The reason I put a time limit is because I've found we do better when we have goals. When you don't have a goal and then people will just watch one lesson and never finish it. So I want you to try to finish in about eight weeks if it takes you nine or 10 weeks, but we're not gonna let you have 52 weeks to do it because then we'll procrastinate. I know myself, if you're a human like me, we all procrastinate more than we want to. Putting a cap on it, saying let's get this thing done, let's get you educated, you know, two or three months, that's what we want to do. We'll give you access to that community for a full year. Okay, that's a bonus. If you don't get in now, you're gonna pay, that's an extra 500 bucks. Okay. What do I think of Forex? Yeah, Forex is, a, I've got, in my other programs, I've got a traditional investment program where we talk about things like Forex, things like gold, things like you know stock options, things like day trading. Crypto will kill the Federal Reserve. Not yet, not yet. It doesn't have to destroy, it's, it's, a, it's like the internet. The thing gonna take time, man. Time make us scared you saying goodbye. I'm not saying, I hope I, I, I'm just saying, don't be surprised. How much does it cost for the program? So you can get in for under 500 bucks, one payment, or right under 200 bucks if you do the three payment option. Ty, you're amazing, thank you for being you. I wouldn't say I'm amazing, but I appreciate uh, the compliment. <clears throat> well, the internet, man, now we're starting to pour out. What crypto should we invest in? We're gonna be teaching you that in the program. Generally, you wanna start in the largest market cap ones and move your way down. You can do some of the small cap stuff. It depends on how much risk you wanna take, honestly. The more small cap you go, the reason it's small cap is because not everybody's convinced of it, just like in the stock market. Penny stocks are riskier because you can get in cheap, but the reason it's cheap is because of supply and demand, not everybody thinks it's gonna go up. So if you think you're smarter than everybody else, but be careful of thinking you're smarter than everybody else. Ty, what do you think about net neutrality? I've been hearing this question a lot. <clears throat> That's a complicated question, but. Fish. You hear my fish there? Would you ever get into politics? I don't think so. I don't have any protein shakes. Bitcoin investment vehicles. Be a little more specific. What are you asking? Bitcoin futures, Bitcoin options. That's just being introduced in the world. I would... Oh man, I wanted to read that. Buy Litecoin, Ethereum, Monero, or something else that's cheap and isn't going away. Trade for Bitcoin when you make profit. Simple, no classes. Sergio, I wish. Thank you for your simple, simple comment. You know what Albert Einstein said? Everything should be as simple as possible, but not more simple. You're oversimplifying it. People in this pro, there's a lot of people that don't even know what a wallet is. They don't even know anything. They don't know what a key is. They don't know how to, nothing. You can't just tell people, buy Monero, and then when you have profit, buy Bitcoin. How's that a fucking good idea? What, what's wrong with the world that everybody who knows a little bit thinks they know everything? Even me, I've been, I, <laughs> I've made a lot of money in my day. I could come and say I'm an expert on money, but even mm. I am bringing in people smarter than me. The person who wrote that comment, that's such a genius, please 
email me right now at tytylopez.com your va the value of crypto you own, please. And if it's over 100 million, you come teach because that's the people that are in here. So if you're such an expert, back it up. People love to babble. Back it up, man. The world is full of people who can't back up what they say. If you don't believe me, post on your Facebook, ask advice for losing weight. Ask advice for losing weight. Fat people will be writing in. No offense to fat people, not fat shaming. But if you're fat, you probably don't wanna give out advice on how to lose weight. Nobody wants to listen to that. It's just common sense 101, you know? You don't see, I, look, I try to stay in shape, but I got my buddy who, you know, some of my friends are in amazing shape. Bradley Martin is a buddy of mine. This is a dude that, you know, can, <laughs> he, he got 23 inch biceps or something. Do you think when I get around him, I'm like, yo, let me give you a little lesson on how to grow your guns. No, sometimes you just shut up and learn from other people. That's how the game goes. And once you can back it up, then you back it up. When people ask about social media, sometimes I start talking. Why? Because I know a little bit about social media, but it depends who's in the room. The other day I was with Logan Paul. I was at an event, we were talking. I'm not gonna go up to Logan Paul and be like, oh, you wanna know how I got 1.1 million in YouTube subscribers? He's gonna be like, I got 10 million or 20 million. So people want, because our moms and our school system babies us so much and says, Oh, everybody's equal. Well, everybody's equal in value in world. I believe that. Poor, rich, you're not more important than other people. But there's such a thing as being more qualified. Do you need heart surgery? Do you ask your mom to cut you open and dig around in your heart and do a heart transplant? It's about qualified. So what the problem in the modern world is, everybody with a Twitter account is somehow, is somehow qualified to babble. No, having a Twitter, ability to create a Twitter login, and it's the same with crypto. And that's why I'm excited about what I'm gonna bring you guys. Because even me, and I know, I mean, I know how to make a lot of money. I've made a million bucks in a day. Profit, a little more than a day, 36 hours, okay? Million bucks in 36 hour profit. I know how to do that, but even me, I'm like, shit, this crypto thing is complicated. You can't just read a few blogs. That's what people do. They read a few blogs and suddenly they are the world expert. You need to be around the best of the best and the whales. And that's what this program is gonna deliver to you. Right, you're about, some of you are about to get access to this right here on your phone. Somebody's adding about thoughts on I IOTA and thoughts on EOS. Why don't you just learn from Brock? He built, he created EOS, he's the co-founder. They raised $700 million. You wanna learn about ICO? He did $700 million in his ICO so far. Probably a little more. They don't, he, they don't say the exact numbers, but it's over $700 million. So, like I said, let's bring you that information, man. Um, okay. Let me... Welcome to people who are getting in the group. Ryan Chaby, by the way, you have one hour and 18 minutes. Ryan Chaby did the one pay. He is watching on Facebook from Nevada, Vegas. Welcome. We got Alan Lee. Ah, oh, you uploaded a picture. Good to see you. Alan, where are you from? YouTube, Colorado, good place. Charles Golenbach, welcome to the group. Now, by the way, a little note, for those of you getting in the group, it's just getting started. So we'll extend you a little bit longer than the two months because we're still getting tons of people recording their content. What I'm doing, it's kind of cool. It's a decentralized system um, where I'm getting all the experts just to record wherever they are because some of these guys I can't even fly in. They're really busy guys. I got one of the, the, guy, the, the guy, the head of SALT. SALT, if you guys know what SALT is, SALT is a badass technology which allows people to basically cash in their stuff. Um, the, the, and he's one of the top expert guys. He's been in the game a long time. He did a big ICO. I think he did 40 million. He raised in his ICO. He's recording, but he lives in Colorado. Um, 
it's not salt like pouring salt for those of you wondering what I'm talking about. Crypto man, t and by the way, if you're listening and you are an expert, this is decentralized. Anybody qualified can teach, okay? So if you're an expert, email crypto at tylopez.com and just tell us why you're an expert and uh, you're welcome to teach in here, okay? Crypto, if you wanna give back and you wanna teach, crypto at tylopez.com. All right. By the way, I don't check that email, so sometimes people will email me there. It's checked by my assistants. Ty, why don't you accept Bitcoin for your program? I know, it is kind of hypocritical. We will very soon. Sorry about that. It's kind of stupid. I'm the first to admit that. Coming soon. Ty, how do you find out about ICOs? Well, you know a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend. Um, by the time I see, you know, they, they, there's something called white papers. You can read about them. There's websites that specialize. We'll be doing a whole section on ICO stuff. Silver or Bitcoin crypto, Antonio asks. Investing in silver? Well, if you're in my How to Invest program, the traditional one, I've got one of the top silver guys in the world. He's actually, when's he coming in? Tomorrow, Tyler? I think he's coming tomorrow or the next day to teach. So you can do, you don't always have to choose between one and the other, you know? You don't have to choose between one and the other. You can invest in silver. You can invest in real estate. By the way, Brock invests in real estate too. He doesn't have all his money in crypto. So real estate's a whole, I've been taking people, me and, and um, Cole and different people, we've been t teaching people real estate for the last one year. First guy who got in making 30 grand a month. Jalen White, is. Uh, Jalen's actually coming in to teach. He made 100,000 last month at what is he, 19 or 20? Flipping, doing wholesaling of real estate. So you definitely shouldn't do all your money in crypto. Just definitely, that's what I will tell you. Even Brock Pierce doesn't put all his money in Bitcoin, Ether, EOS, all that. He invested in other things. So don't be stupid. Remember, don't say, you, I'm very clear, I like that this is being recorded. Nobody can say, Ty didn't tell me, because I said it right here. Do not put, I don't care if Bitcoin goes to seven trillion by tomorrow, do not pull, put all your money in it because if it goes up that fast, it may come down that fast. Same with everything. I don't care what the other coin is. December 11th, there will be a crash in Bitcoin. Get ready to buy. Okay, well, if you're right, that'd be great. Oh, mining, I've got, uh, one of my buddies has a, is a huge miner. He'll be teaching you how to mine. So mining is basically, it's not literally mining like for gold, but it's basically how Bitcoin is created, verified, there's a process, and they reward miners with some Bitcoin. And so you can learn how to do that. Uh, we'll have a section, I didn't get into that, but that basically everything you need to learn, we're gonna put in this program. Will Bitcoin drop? Of course. Will it go, it, everything goes up and down. Everything goes up, gold goes up and down. There's a fatal flaw in cryptocurrencies, which means uh, they can never be real currencies. Okay, you didn't say what the fatal flaw is. You want to look up the definition of Ponzi scheme, but I guess you know nothing about the technology. Okay, this is two people arguing with each other. <laughs> Ty, would you recommend buying $100 worth of 20 different small cryptos now or putting 2000 into one like ETH or Bitcoin? Don't invest in what you don't know. So as quickly as you can learn, that's when you should start investing. Don't invest in Bitcoin if you don't understand it. Don't invest. This is exactly what Brock Pierce was mentoring me on. He's like, invest, learn it, then invest. This is a fundamental principle of investing. Don't buy real estate if you don't know what you're doing. You're going to be like millions of people in 2008 that were only buying real estate because their mom bought it and their uncle bought it. But then their uncle and mom was only buying because their friend's sister was buying. And that sister was on. And that's where you create an idiotic world. Okay? So, yeah. Sante, welcome to the group from Guatemala. William Bagley. Welcome to the group. Where are you from? William Bagley. That's a very majestic name. It sounds like someone who came over on the Maria, the Pinta Maria. What was the three Columbus boats? The Nina. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Maria? Santa. Santa Maria. Actually, I guess you would, that would actually be more of an English. That would be Portuguese or Spanish. 
Marvin Bagley. Cryptos are extremely volatile and generally unpredictable. Yes, They're just like gold, just like uh, the stock market, depending on what market cap you buy into. So these are smaller cap compared to the stock market where the largest cap companies are almost at trillion dollar valuation. Every crypto is gonna be more volatile. That's the, that's the rule, as I was talking about. What you have to learn is how the game works. So basically, if you think of it, they call this the risk reward triangle, okay? So down here, you have the safest things, which are large cap. These mean large capitalization, large companies. So you could say Apple or something like that, or GE used to be one here. Or Amazon okay so large cap one which is a lot of money it's the base of this triangle um, it doesn't make a ton of money it doesn't go up and down much so that's a good news if you put money into Apple you're probably not gonna be broke tomorrow but it doesn't go up much so it's limited and then you know you have mid cap stuff and then you have your smaller cap stuff and then you have your micro stuff. And then you have like penny stocks here. There was a penny stock. You guys know Kevin Harrington? I had lunch with him. Kevin Harrington was the one of the original Shark Tank sharks, him and Mark Cuban. And he was telling me that he was in a penny stock that he got in at 80 cents and it's worth 14 bucks now in a couple months or a year or something like that. So he made like 20 times his money. So I think he put in 100 grand and he made 2 million bucks, roughly gross. So about 1.8 million profit for doing nothing. But the problem is penny stocks can go to zero. So this understanding right here, even though when we say caps, it's not the same as an equities stock market. Okay, triangle. But it's the same principles. You got your, your largest caps right here are your main coins, which is Bitcoin, the, you know, the class of Bitcoin, and you have Ether, and you have Bitcoin Cash. Then maybe you could put here, you have you know, your Dashes and your Moneros and your Litecoins. And then it just keeps going all the way to here. You have new ICOs, like Brock's wife has a coin called the Sense Coin that she's launching, and it doesn't even trade yet. But you can get into it for almost nothing, and theoretically, maybe it goes way up, but. You have to understand that. So you need to understand which of these coins, how much to put in each of these. And if, if you only got a thousand bucks, you, you probably don't want to diversify. Brock recommends most people start here, even though you're not going to make as much money potential, um, you know, as you would here. So that's my answer to most of you. Okay. Someone said they put in 3,100. Someone said it's called... Volatility. Yeah, Khalid, don't be such a dipshit. I already wrote that it is volatility on the other page. I swear, there's only one thing I hate about crypto right now. Every fucking numbnut that's never made a penny in life now is making a little bit of money and so they think they're God's gift to the financial world. Okay, stop it, stop it. I know you read some fucking blog and you made $7,000. And now you're fucking Warren Buffett, but you ain't. And I know what volatility is. So the whole point of this live call is to make it simpler so that everybody can understand it. I'm trying to bring education to the masses in a way that's interesting and people get it. So, oh, uh, people, sometimes I'm worried about planet Earth. Did Warren Buffett invest in Bitcoin? I'm sure he did not. Warren Buffett didn't invest in Amazon. He doesn't care about anything. Warren Buffett has $200, $100 billion in cash. You think he gives a shit about whether Bitcoin's gonna go up? So if you have $100 billion in cash, you don't need to listen to this call. But if you ain't Warren Buffett, then you might wanna pay attention, okay? So, but, Bit, but my, Bill Gates is talking about crypto and Elon Musk is talking about crypto. He's accepting it. So. Yeah, I'm telling you, the downfall of me is going to be the, some of the tweets and the things that I get. I'm like, I know you made seven G's. Hold your horses. 
I know you are fucking George Soros. <laughs> George Soros Jr. George Soros made $1 billion in one day trading currencies. Are you George Soros, whoever was saying that? I'm telling you, I will eat my words. If I ever roast anybody who is a fucking badass, I will publicly get up here. I will show your bank account with your info crossed out, but just enough to identify that it's you. And I'll be like, damn it, I roasted this guy who made 100 mil this year. But you know what? People who make a lot of money don't talk shit. That's what I've learned. I had this Halloween thing. You saw it on my Instagram and my Snap. And I had, a, I had like 10, 10 guys I know here. And we went out. They came by the house. Then we went to lunch. I mean, we went to a, not lunch. We went to, what club did we go to? What was that one we went to? That was Sam. The Mayan? No, after the Mayan. No, not, not the Mayan. That was for Halloween. Oh, yeah, I think this was before that. Anyway, there was 10 of us. I bought a table at, uh, I forget the name of the club. Uh, it's the one on La Cienega by the Beverly Center. Anyway, $6.1 billion worth of money at that table. So there was like one guy on the Forbes list, two crypto, well, one crypto billionaire, one crypto guy probably worth $500 million. Anyway, <clears throat> point being, they're all nice to each other because... Guys who actually, and women who know what they're doing, don't talk shit. It's always the people who made their first seven grand that are sure they are, you know, the Jesus Christ of crypto. Oh, man. Is that Bon Jovi on your wall? That's a woman right there. Ty, I enjoy your content. I always enjoy reading the comment feed. Realize how dumb people can be. Here's the good news. Whenever I get frustrated with my own stupidity or with other people's stupidity, always remember... Stupidity creates opportunity. So whenever you get frustrated with yourself and you realize you've been stupid in life, when I realize I've been stupid in life, I get excited because I, if I rectify the stupidity, there's tremendous upside. So I'm like, okay, Ty, don't be so stupid anymore and you can do way better. Also, when other people are stupid, I go, thank God that won't be my competitor. Thank God I won't, that won't be my competitor. I meet people in business, I'm like, oof. I mean, sorry, thank God that is my competitor. Someone said, Ty, what is your net worth, if you don't mind asking? I think online somebody wrote it's three million. I'm not sure how they came up with that. I'm pretty sure it's more than three million. But you know what? I'm like the crypto guys. I'd rather people think I have $3 in my bank account and all the people that I care about, they know that I have money. Because the more money people think you have, the more of a target you become. That's what I'm telling you. A lot of these crypto guys, I can't say their name. Brock doesn't care because if you know Brock, he's like kind of just out there. And But, you know, let's see. I'll show you one of my companies. Just one. This is one I launched a year ago. Let's see if it made any money today. This is my Stripe account. I'll unlock it for you. It made $50,476 today and a million dollars in the last 30 days. This is a company that I own 50% and I don't even do any work in. So, you know, whatever that's worth to people, that's just one, that's a smaller part of my income too. So, if you make over 100 Gs a day or 200 grand a day in your business's gross or net, you'll have a big net worth, you know? But remember, net worth can go up and down, you know? So, I probably got two million in cars in that garage, something like that. So, um, what are you eating? Grapes, is Bitcoin a bubble? My answer is everything goes in bubbles. The qu better question is, is it a permanent bubble? By that I mean it will pop and permanently drop to zero forever. All wealth will be lost. I doubt it. That's what I feel like. Um, but remember, there's multiple types of Bitcoin. So like I said, you have, you have Bitcoin everybody's talking about, but you also have Bitcoin Cash, and you have Bitcoin Gold, and these potentially could go up in value and the main Bitcoin could go down. But the Bitcoin chain, it's a blockchain, it's a technology, is probably not gonna go to zero. But it could, that's why you wanna diversify into other coins whether it be, you know, Ethereum, or there's about 3,000, 2,500 
that you can choose from. <laughs> that's the confusing thing. And that's why you want to get in this program. So if you're on my website, click the link below. If you are watching on YouTube, click the title or in the description. Man, this got 20,000 likes already on this YouTube video only. That's pretty cool. Twitter, it's in the title. Oh, Instagram, we need it's to, to pin it. We'll pin it to the comment. There'll be a pinned comment. If you're on Facebook, it's in the title, or you can just go here. By the way, to Dum Dum, who was commenting, what's that word say? Volatility. Did you reset it? It was already resetting. Oh, oh am I on the wrong page? I'll just do it here. You can also just go right there. Tylopez.com slash Bitcoin. You will be getting access to the Bitcoin crypto mentorship. It's a mastermind of the smartest people that I know, the whales of the industry, people that don't put their face out there, but may you know, trade a hundred million bucks of this stuff. Um, it's a eight week program. You'll be getting a certification from us that you completed it. It's not a diploma, so you can't, you know, whatever. Uh, certification, sorry. And it's got a 100% money back guarantee. Okay. Refund policy. You can do this if you're male, if you're female, if you're living in Taiwan, if you're living, well, Taiwan has got a little bit special things if you're near China. Let me reset it. If you're in Australia, if you're in Mozambique, if you're in Lithuania, if you're in London, if you're in Iowa, if you're in Massachusetts, if you're in New York City, Los Angeles, if you're in Manitoba, if you're in Guatemala, we just had someone jump in the group. You want to be, if Bitcoin is well past 14,000, over 15,000. I launched this program one week ago. Whoop, I lost my grade. It's gone up 50% in about five days. It's insane. It's in a bubble, so you need to know when it crashes, how to buy it, and where it's gonna go. Nobody knows for sure. Ty, is that your living room? Yeah, something like that. It's like the foyer. Okay. North Korea is not allowed. Yes, it, you are probably not watching this if you are in North Korea. Does age matter? It's a beautiful thing about investing in money. Doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't. As long as you have access to the internet and you're not in a place with massive controls like if you're in China, this program is a little tricky. There's, you need special stuff. You need VPNs and you need blah, blah. It's more complicated, but I'm assuming you're not in China or North Korea right now. <laughs> Noel said, Ty, you make me want grapes. Silver or crypto? Both. If you don't have enough money, flip a coin. All right. Boom, boom, ba -doom. What else? Ty, I see you everywhere. <laughs> Social media is everywhere, isn't it? Ty, can you throw your grape up in the air and catch it? I don't know. LA Fires, by the way, those of you, I, I put this on my Instagram. If you are a victim of a fire, you don't have a place, I've offered to open up my house. No one's taken that, but I'm gonna be put. I'm gonna put two people up for two days in a hotel. That so comment <laughs> an NBA player. I'll cover his name. Just texting me. 
Ty, talk to me about Bitcoin. <laughs> I've had two of the biggest guys that play basketball in the world, in the US, NBA guys, text me in the last month going, yo, someone says, Ty, Bitcoin is crashing. I hope so. I hope so, because I'm gonna buy it on the way down. I'm gonna buy more. Um, what else? So you guys have exactly 57 minutes. Hold on one second. All right, read me some questions, Sam or Adrian. Yeah, wait, some good ones coming. Can you get cash, or how do you get cash out of it? How do you get cash out of your crypto? You can sell it to other people who want it. Either directly, you can sell it through an exchange. Yep. It's trading, it's like gold. You got some gold, they got some stuff. That's the best, simplest way to think about Bitcoin. Uh, and that's what Brock said I should tell people when they want to understand crypto. It's like gold. Bitcoin will come down crashing. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Some new people are asking how much is it? Pricing? Oh, price to get into the program, Tylerwood.com Bitcoin. We have a three pay option of right under 200 bucks or a one payment option of 500. Any advice for a broke 23 year old? Here's my advice in general. You gotta get the it factor. Deep within you, you can find the resolve, the energy to change your life. I promise you. Unless you have the most world's, unless you are a vegetable. Even a guy like Stephen Hawking, who lost the use of his arms and his legs, he still went on to write books and change the world in physics. He had to write books by blinking his eyes because deep down within him, he had the it factor. He didn't procrastinate. He didn't blame. He moved forward with the tools that he had. He was persuasive when he needed to be to create allies and to get people to invest in him. And the ending result was a very important life. He mattered to be on this planet. And I hope that each of you, whether it's in this crypto course or wherever, you will find the resolve deep within you to, you know, uh, get out from where you are. No, that was not the right one, but okay. Sam, watch, just watch that one. That's the only one you gotta watch. Um, Why Bitcoin over Ethereum? We didn't say that. You have not been listening. It's not that simple. You can do both. You probably should do both. There are different blockchain technologies. They have different uses. Bitcoin is more is used. People are using it similar to gold. It's not that easy to transact. It's slow, and so for and for other reasons, primarily being the largest market cap, the most tradable. Uh, people are considering a store value. Ethereum has a whole nother set of advantages. It's built on a different chain, a different set of technology, which allows one of the big things is this thing called smart contracts, where you can literally automate thing. Somebody's phone's going crazy. So you could literally automate all, anything an entrepreneur could come up with mentally, you could translate into financial, financial rules. That's what smart contracts are. So a lot of the ICOs are building on this new thing called Ethereum. It's not really new, but they're building on Ethereum. And then you have, like I said, you have things like EOS, which you know one of the goals is to be able to do transactions really fast because the vision that people have in this community, for example, instead of you using your credit card, right, which is Visa, which has fees, Instead of you wiring money, but specifically credit cards where you buy, there's trillions of dollars in transactions that are being, not transactions, but trillions of dollars and millions of transactions at a time on things like Visa and MasterCard. Bitcoin can't really handle that. So there, people are coming up with new transact, new technologies, new blockchain technologies. One of those is ideas, like things like EOS. And there's other ones too. Ty, is there taxing, taxation in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies? The technical answer, one, it depends where you live. But in general, most governments are gonna try to get their money on your profits. So we'll be covering that. 
from a legal standpoint, from an accounting standpoint. That's just part of how the game is going to be played. Um, does Bitcoin and crypto have advantage over stocks? If a company go bankrupt, your stock is zero forever. That is correct. So I would not try to think of which one's better. It's not which one's better. It's like if you have three kids, do you look at your kids and go, this one's better than the other? No, each kid has unique talents and unique gifts and you can appreciate all your kids. And when you're investing money, your money in these things, you don't necessarily have to go, oh, stock market, is it better than a cryptocurrency? It's not. Is it worse? It's not, it depends on what you're comparing on. Um, for example, the stock market has its own potential bubbles that are independent of cryptocurrency. Okay, what makes the stock market go in a bubble? Well, too much money pouring into it, interest rate changes, changes to taxation law, which allow large hedge funds to do crazy things. The owners, I mean, the uh, people who run hedge funds have their own taxation scheme called carry, which is very advantageous. If the government pumps too much money into the system, there's a valuation increase in homes. It's called easy money in the stock market. So the stock market's moving in its own volatility. It's like a kid, you got one of your kids that has a temper and one of your kids gets depressed. They both have issues. All humans have strengths and weaknesses. All investment strategies are in things that have strengths and weaknesses and you gotta diversify. So if you're investing, if you're worried about inflation, if you're worried about interest rates, if you're worried about the Federal Reserve messing with the overall stock market, these cryptocurrencies are not volatile in the way, but they have their own potential volatility. Overhyped demand, they have potential in regulatory risk. The US government could crack down on them. That happened in Russia. It's happened in China in the ICO market. So you wanna think of this thing as building a portfolio, you know? Ty, do you have crypto loyalty? No, I'm not coming at this. It's Nobody's paying me to promote their coin or anything like that. Ty, suggestions for December 11th? Hmm. Well, have a good day. How about that? Ty, what place accept Bitcoin as currency? Tesla accepts Bitcoin, overstock the country of Philippines. Um, Wikipedia accepts Bitcoin. People accept Bitcoin. Um, there's a whole list. I mean, there's even, I, I saw the list. It's getting bigger and bigger. Probably Amazon eventually is gonna do it. They might issue their own coin. For all of you picking exact dates, you do not know what you're talking about. You cannot predict the future like that. Satoshi said in 2010 that if people think Bitcoin is simple, similar to gold, they are wrong. Utility is everything. Yeah, again, as I've said, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is not gold. It is not equity. But a simple way to think about Bitcoin is it's similar to gold in that it's a store of value. It's non-perishable. It's easily tradable. It has a finite amount okay so that's not completely accurate if you think of it as gold like you store it in a vault but it, but gold has that utility you can take gold places and transact with it but you need bitcoin is also you know with gold is small so you can have a lot of value in a small area of course crypto you can have it on a on a on a wallet of physical hardware right that's very small so they're more similar than you think. Ty doesn't know where Satoshi is. Do you know where Satoshi is? No, you don't know either. Nobody knows. No one knows if it's a real person. There's a theoretical person who came up with Bitcoin. And it's probably not one person, but nobody knows. It's kind of like one of these Illuminati theories. Ty, what do you, info do you have for newbies coming into investing? That's what we've been talking about. Um, Ty Lopez got Bitcoin. You guys got, I'm going to get off. I started to feel my voice disappearing. You have 46 minutes to get in. Um, Ty, good question. Can you invest $1,000 if you have to buy one entire Bitcoin? Good news is it's 
highly divisible. You can do not, it goes to decimals. So you do not have to buy one Bitcoin at $14,000. My cousin yesterday, a few days ago, bought half a Bitcoin. She bought half a Bitcoin when it was like at 9,000. So now it's gone up 50%. So she put in like roughly five grand and now it's worth about 7,500 bucks. But remember, uh, we're not focused on short term get rich quick schemes. I want you to understand the long game. You can do trading strategies and we will be teaching that, but don't, unless you know how to trade, you're gonna lose money trading, okay? Or you're gonna take tremendous amount of rich. Yeah, you can own point zero 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 one. Yeah, they Bitcoin. The people, whether it was Satoshi or whoever, used a very smart system of multi, many, 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 many decimal points. So even if Bitcoin is worth a million dollars, it'll be divisible into a very teeny amount. You could buy a hundred bucks, thousand bucks, right? Eight decimal points. All right. How do you find trends before they become popular? Watch the smart people, that's what I do. Watch the smart people. It's not always right. Sometimes you'll still mess up, but that's what I do. Where are smart people going? Tom from Brazil, I bought Bitcoin when it was $2,500, and now with the, with the increase in value, I have so much money. Hope it continues. I wanna teach some of you guys. Now listen to me. You need to lock in some profit or at least some principle. So the, like, Lurie, Johnny, I'm worried. If Bitcoin drops, you may freak out and do this incorrectly. I want you to do it correctly, which basically means you need to understand how to lock in your gains. Mark Cuban sat right here. He's a billionaire because he understood how to lock in his gains. I want to teach you that. Or else when Bitcoin goes up and down, you may freak out and lose all the gains that you have. You need to lock in your gains. And then when you lock it, especially if you're not a big fan of risk, you get scared easily. You lock in your gains that way if, and you keep the rest in the coin. And that way, if it goes down, you still didn't lose any money and maybe you could potentially lock in a small amount of gains, okay? What's the difference between, what's the differences between cryptocurrencies? Well, a lot of them are built on different technologies. Like I said, Bitcoin's on one technology, you have, Ethereum, and then individuals are building companies. They're doing what's called an ICO, initial coin offering, and a lot of them are using Ethereum. So within the different technologies, then there's also different coins within those technologies, if that makes sense. Ty, what do you mean lock in your gains? Like take out the money, you, yeah, basically take out cash in at least the principal that you, so let's say you put in $1,000 and it shoots to eight grand. You, you put in a thousand and now you have eight grand. Sell a thousand dollars into cash again, leave the other 7,000 in value in the coin, and that way if it goes to zero, at least you still have your thousand bucks. Or sell two thousand dollars worth. So now you keep six thousand in the market. It go, if it goes to zero, you have your initial thousand plus another thousand bucks. So that's something that's very important in business, in the regular stock market, in gold, in for in everything. I'm a believer in that. Not everybody believes in that. A lot of people go, oh, it'll never go down. I believe in locking in my gains because I don't, I like to go to sleep good at night, okay? So that's what I recommend and that's what you'll be learning and we'll be showing you how to simple, simple, so this program, whether you're a beginner, advanced, or intermediate, this is, has a lot for you. Trust me, none of you are more advanced than Brock, I promise you, unless you co-founded, unless you are the chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation, unless you've been doing this, you got into Bitcoin when it was at, you know, whatever, <laughs> unless you're a co-founder of one of the big coins. So if you're advanced, you'll be learning from advanced people. If you're a beginner, we've broken it down super beginner. If a lot of you are intermediate, We'll be pushing you up into that advanced level. What's the best site to buy Bitcoin? So it's better not to think of it in the old internet terms like a site, but you want to think about exchanges and wallets. Exchanges are where you buy, people exchange. You know, the stock market has an exchange. 
So you have, you have various exchanges. We talk about which ones we recommend in the program. And then um, you need to know how to store them, which is a little bit like a vault. Okay, and you wanna store some of them digitally, like on your phone or on your computer. And then you wanna store some of them offline, okay? So they call these hot and cold. Somebody said, Coinbase GDAX, period. Well, that's not what Brock, that's probably an oversimplification. Any, any person who you talk to him goes, this is the answer, period. When it comes to money, knows nothing. I automatically disqualify them. Just trust me. Trust me. If you ever meet somebody and you're like, what's the best stock to invest in? They go, Apple stock, end of story. No conversation, no talking, shh. They're an idiot. And if every billionaire in that room would be laughing at that person. So when you're in cryptocurrency and somebody's like, uh, this, blah, this, iota, nah, yeah, be, be quiet, shut up, no one else talk, la, 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 la. You come back to their bank account in one year, you'll be like, now who needs to shut up? That's not how smart people think. That's not how smart people act. That's not how wealth is created. Wealth is created by intelligence. Intelligence is the mark of an intelligent man is to be or woman is to have an open freaking mind To realize that the world's not in black and white. It's a world of gray areas It's not cracking nah. That's all maybe I should make a program for those people if I could just identify them It's gonna be one video and it's gonna be like Jack Bitcoin cash blah end of story. Thank you for your money. <laughs> oh Lord Yes, I say that all the time, Ty. Life is in black and white. Yes, there's no absolute black and white. There's no one strategy that always works. There's no, you need to think about a world of gray areas. You want to be ethical. You want to be legal. You want to be intelligent. You want to create wealth. You want to lock in wealth. You don't want to take unnecessary risk, but you need to take enough risk based on your personality type. Somebody said they had three dollar. They have three dollars and six cents in Bitcoin. How long is the course? So what I recommend for those of you getting in, I'm about to get off here. I'm going to leave this open for another 39 minutes. Um, for those of you that get in, you're going to get a special password. Don't share it with anybody because if you share your login and password, everybody gets locked out and you won't get in. And then you're going to go. You're going to get a series of tutorial videos. The mentorship videos step by step you just listen to them audio or better to watch them video because some of them have a whiteboard um, you're gonna get access to live calls during the month where you can ask questions you're gonna act, get access to a private Facebook group you are the first you guys are some of the first people to get in so it's just getting started now if you wait price goes up and so do you lose the bonuses so you're gonna lose over five thousand or forty eight hundred dollars worth of bonuses <laughs> this is still cracking me up, this text. If you guys knew who this was texting me, you guys would really laugh. This is one of the most famous basketball players, but what he wrote me is very funny. He was on my Snapchat. I'll give you guys a hint who it was about two months ago. Um, dude, everybody wants to know about this thing. It's hilarious. All right. Let me read the names of people before I lose my voice completely. Tyler Spencer, welcome to the group, my friend from California. Ivan Moran, welcome to the group from Washington. Oops, sorry. Chad Hamilton, welcome to the group. Chad is, sorry, damn it. I got this new iPhone 8, which I'm gonna be giving one way. Geraldo Rangel, welcome to the group. From my Snapchat, oh, huh. cool. Tyler Spencer, welcome to the group from California. Andre Gavirouche from North Carolina, welcome to the group. Man, we got a lot of people. 
I'm not gonna read all these. There's a lot. Sean Maynard on Facebook. Oh, there's Facebook, Texas. All right. It must be Gordon Hayward. He's not playing basketball. No, it's not Gordon Hayward from the Celtics. Uh, how long will the course last? It's an eight week course. How do you join? Right here, go here. I'm going offline. Tyler opens out Bitcoin. You can go here. You can watch, look, you can rewind this. I think it'll go a replay. You got 37 minutes. So invest in coconut water. Yep. By the way, I still like other things besides crypto. I'm not putting all my money in crypto and don't put all yours. Don't put all yours. Click the link on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or it's pinned comment on Instagram. You don't, or if you're on my website, just click the button. That's the fastest. Or you can just go right here. Talibu.com slash Bitcoin. Get in the mastermind. I'll see you inside. All right. Talk to you soon. I, uh, iPhone? Oh, I need to give. Yep. I got to give away this phone. As I said. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what question do I want to ask? This is an iPhone 8. 256. I'm paying it forward. This is I have an iPhone 8 now as of yesterday. So I'm going to pay it forward to you guys who are paying attention. What question do I have? Okay. This is a very simple one for those of you advanced, you'll get it instantly. What technology are people building around that has smart contracts? What blockchain technology has smart contracts? All right, I'm gonna wait and give Facebook is on a lag, like 10 seconds. So there's different technologies, different chains. Which one? All right, let me see. Does every ICO have its own blockchain technology? No, a lot of them are using Ethereum. Okay, I see all of them. All right, tell me when to stop, Sam. Stop. We're going to Facebook. Okay, tell me when to stop. Stop. We can pin this one. Okay, the first person. Somebody said Bitcoin. No, <laughs> that's not a, Bitcoin is, does not have smart contracts. Lucas, no. Sorry. Oh, here, JJ McCool said it. Ethereum. Ethereum, ETH has smart contracts. That's why a lot of ICOs are built around it. You can automate things. That's not a great explanation of smart contracts. You'll learn about smart contracts, but it's a simple way to think about it. Automated, automated financial rules, so to speak. Okay, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna leave this link up for 34 more minutes. tylopezcom slash Bitcoin. Make sure you go to this one or you will lose the bonuses and the price. Okay, talk to you guys soon.